All right, thank you guys. Happy Wednesday to you. We're already halfway through the week, so congratulations. The weekend is right around the corner. Once again, happy hump day to you. And if you really end up enjoying this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up by hitting that like button. And if you haven't already joined the Brock Page delegation, please feel free to do that right now by tapping that subscribe button below. Now guys, we got ourselves a really big slate of NBA action here today. So let's, you know, look to maybe do a little bit uh, better than we did yesterday on our free leans. 30%, not getting the job done. So let's go ahead and start. I'm talking about the Rockets taking on the Pacers, 7 p.m. Eastern tip-off at the Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Now the Pacers are minus two at home, totals 226 flat. And if you like the Rockets in an upset here, they're plus $1.10 for an outright victory on the money line. Now we're 6-1 and one with a push in our last eight underdog tier package picks on patreon.com slash Brock Page. That's been a very good package for us over the past month or so. We're also 8-2 and two with a push in our last 11 underdog tier package picks in that same category. And if you want to unlock today's underdog tier package play, it's only going to cost you just $4.99. Now, we currently have a community of over 775 handicappers just like you who are signed up and active on that page. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now, the Rockets are winless in two tries on the road this season. They're in the bottom three in the NBA in offensive rebounding away from home. Houston's giving up 126 points a game as the road team as well. McLemore, Jones, Martin, and Clemens are out. Uh, Houston's taking on a Pacers team who's won two out of their last three themselves. And they're also covering 71% of their ball games. Now, Indy's scoring 115 points a game, and they're shooting nearly 50% from the field. Malcolm Brogdon scoring 22 points a game, four rebounds, seven assists for the point guard. Brogdon's also averaging a couple of steals a game defensively. Meanwhile, Victor Oladipo is also scoring 21 points a night, five rebounds and five assists for Vic. Now the Pacers are giving up just 107 points a game on their home court. And when it comes to the total on this one, the Pacers are 4-3 and three to the over for the entire season. Houston's 2-0 to the over when they travel. I'm going to lean toward the Indiana Pacers, minus 2, and the over 226. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines and personal leans out for NBA basketball here on a Wednesday. Once again, happy hump day to you. You've made it halfway through the week. And the weekend is right around the corner here, guys. Now, before we go ahead and move into some more free content right here on YouTube, I just have to quickly uh, remind you once again that we are 6-1 and one with a push in our last eight underdog tier package picks on Patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're also 8-2 and two with a push in our last 11 underdog tier package plays on that site as well. And if you want to unlock today's underdog tier package play... It's only going to cost you just $4.99. And just remember, guys, when you sign up for a membership on Patreon, you get access to all the lesser expensive memberships absolutely free. So once again, when you sign up for one of my memberships on that Patreon site that I'm always talking about, you instantly get access to all the lesser expensive tiers absolutely free. The cheaper memberships are included with your purchase. So for example, if you get the $4.99 package today, the underdog tier, all the lesser expensive packages are included with your purchase. So you're not just going to get the underdog play today, you're going to get all the uh, you're going to get access to all the plays that are lesser expensive than $4.99. And for those who are wondering what the difference is between my free picks here on YouTube and my Patreon site, well, what I do on Patreon is I make life a lot easier for you. As I break it down and focus in on just three to four premium selections per day, they're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, I'm having a lot more success betting on games that way versus wagering on every single game on the slate, side and total, like I do here with my free leans on YouTube. Now guys, currently we have a community of over 775 handicappers just like you who are signed up and active on that site. And if you want to join those folks and get in on the action, 
I'd love to have you. I strongly recommend it. Link for that site is in the description section below. And once again, that's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now moving on, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Wizards versus the Sixers. That's going to be a 7 p.m. Eastern tip-off in South Philly. Now the Sixers are the six and a half point favorite. Totals 231 and a hook. The Sixers are undefeated at the Wells Fargo Center this season. Uh, actually talked about this a little bit earlier uh, in the season with my uploads. Uh, these guys are virtually unbeatable at home over the past couple of seasons. Uh, Philly's on a four-game winning streak right now, and they've successfully covered the point spread in five out of their last six. Philly's also giving up just 101 points a game, and they're allowing just 41% shooting from the field. Joel Embiid is scoring over 23 points a game, 12 boards and a couple of of blocks per contest for the seven-foot center. Meanwhile, Tobias Harris finds himself scoring over 19 a night himself. Eight boards and three assists for the forward. Now, Philly's also in the top 10 in the NBA in home defensive rebounding. They're taking on a Washington team who gives up nearly 121 points a night and almost 49% shooting from the field. They've really struggled defensively. The 2-5 and five Wizards have also failed to cover the number in four out of their last six. Now, total-wise, when it comes to the number in this one, Philadelphia is 3-1 and one to the under on their home court, 6-1 and one to the under for the entire season. They've just been so good defensively. Give me the Philadelphia 76ers minus 6.5 and, and the under 231 and a hook. All right, next ball game. It is going to be Cavaliers versus the Magic, 7 p.m. Eastern tip in Orlando. The Magic's minus 6 at home, totals 212. If you like Cleveland and an upset on the road here, they're plus $2 on the money line. Now, Cleveland's been very good defensively in the early going here. Just 105 points a game they're giving up. Top 10 in the NBA in defensive field goal percentage. Colin Sexton scoring 26 points a night. A couple of boards and three assists for the 6-1 point guard. Meanwhile, Andre Drummond's grabbing 14 rebounds a game along with a couple of steals, a couple of blocks. The 6'11 center is also averaging 16 points a game for Cleveland. Uh, both of those players that I just mentioned, uh, they have started in all seven of Cleveland's games, and they're both averaging over 29 minutes per contest. Now, they are taking on a Magic squad who just lost two out of their last three, and they scored just 101 points a game on their home court, really struggling uh, offensively at home. Now, the Magic's also shooting a pitily 40% from the field at the Amway Center. And when it comes to the total in this one, Orlando's 3-1 to the under on their home court. Cleveland's 3-1 to the under when they travel. I'm going to lean toward the underdog Cleveland Cavaliers plus 6 and the under 212. Next contest. It is going to be Charlotte versus Atlanta. And that's going to be a 7.30 p.m. Eastern start time. The Hawks are the six-point favorite at home, numbers 232 flat. Now, Atlanta's scoring over 118 points a night, and they shoot nearly 40% from beyond the arc. They've certainly been explosive offensively. They're currently in the top 10 in offensive rebounding, and they give up just 29% shooting from downtown defensively. So uh, getting the job done uh, on the uh, defensive side of the court in that particular category. Now, Trey Young scoring 29 points a game, four boards and nine assists for the point guard. Meanwhile, John Collins is also scoring over 17 points a night himself. Seven rebounds and a couple assists for the 6'9 forward. Atlanta's currently 4-3 and three straight up on the season, and they successfully covered the number in four out of their last six, throwing out the Nick game. Now they're taking on a Charlotte squad who's on a three-game losing streak themselves. Just 1-3 and three against the spread on the road this season as well. Charlotte allows nearly 117 points a game on the road, and 50% shooting from the field in that same category. The Hornets are also in the bottom 10 in offensive rebounding on the road. And when it comes to the scoring in this one, five out of Charlotte's last six ball games stayed under the posted number. Meanwhile, Atlanta saw their last three straight stay under the line themselves. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the Atlanta Hawks minus six and the under 232. All right, next contest I have for you. It is going to be Jazz versus the Knicks. 7.30 p.m. East. The Jazz are minus six on the road. Totals 214 and a half. And if you like the New York Knicks in an upset at home, they're plus 205 for some money line cash. Now the Knicks are on a two-game winning streak, four months straight up in their last five. New York's also successfully covered the number in four out of their last five ball games. 
Now, New York's one of the finer defensive ball clubs in the association right now, really kind of locking it down on the defensive end of the court. They're giving up just 105 points a night, uh, and they're also uh, allowing just 29% shooting from three land. Now, Julius Randle scoring over 22 points a game, 11 rebounds and 7 assists for the forward. Meanwhile, R.J. Barrett scoring over 18 points a game, 8 boards and 4 assists for the shooting guard from Duke. The Knicks are allowing just 26% shooting from 3 land on their home court. Now, they're taking on a Utah team who just got blasted by a Kevin Durantless Brooklyn squad by 34 last night. Uh, that was certainly a loser for me. Uh in terms of my personal betting. Uh, but anyway, uh, the Jazz also failed to cover the number in four out of their last six. Meanwhile, defensively, they're allowing nearly 42% shooting from three land. They're also making just 71% of their free throws on the road. Not very good for a professional team to go 71% from the stripe. Now, total-wise, Utah's last two straight got over the number. Three and one of the over on the road this season. Meanwhile, the Knicks saw eight out of their last 10 meetings with the Jazz get over the line themselves. We're going to lean toward another underdog in this one. Give me the underdog New York Knicks plus six and the over 214 and a half. All right, next contest. It is going to be Celtics versus the Heat, 7.30 p.m. Eastern tip-off in Miami. Now, the Heat's minus two and a half, totals 218 flat. And if you like Boston on the money line here, they're plus $1.15 for an upset win. Now, Miami scoring just 105 points a game this season. They're in the bottom three in offensive rebounding. Uh, meanwhile, defensively, they're giving up nearly 40% three-point shooting on their home court. Harkless and Vincent are questionable for tonight's action. Now, they're taking on a Boston team who's on a two-game winning streak themselves. Four months straight up in their last five. The Celtics are in the top five in offensive field goal percentage. And they find themselves shooting almost 41% from downtown. Jalen Brown scoring 27 points a game, five rebounds and a couple of steals for the shooting guard. Meanwhile, Jason Tatum's also scoring over 26 points a night himself, eight rebounds and four assists for the 6'8 forward. Both of these players haven't missed a game yet. Now, Boston's in the top 10 in the NBA in road defensive rebounding. And when it comes to the number in this one, Boston's last two straight got over the posted total, four and one of the over in their last five. Meanwhile, the Miami Heat on the other side saw six out of their last 10 contests with Boston get over the line themselves. Guys, we're going to lean toward yet another underdog in this one. Give me the underdog Boston Celtics plus two and a half in the over 218. All right, next contest, it is going to be Thunder versus the Pelicans, 8 p.m. Eastern start time at the Smoothie King. The Pels are the eight-point favorite at home, totals 212 and a half. New Orleans won two out of their last three ball games, two and one against the spread in those contests. The Pels are in the top three in offensive rebounding, and they give up just 104 points per contest. Brandon Ingram scoring 25 points a game for New Orleans, six boards and six assists a night for the Ford. Meanwhile, Zion Williamson is scoring over 20 a game himself, along with eight assists a night. Now, the Pels are in the top three in the NBA in defensive rebounding as well. Uh, really dominating the boards on both ends of the court. Now they're taking on an OKC squad who scores just 100 points a game and they shoot only 31% from beyond the arc. These guys have really struggled offensively. OKC has also lost four out of their last five and they rank in the bottom five in the association in defensive rebounding. Now total-wise, once again, OKC can't score and New Orleans, well, you can't score on them. The Pels are 5-2 to the under through seven games. OKC's 3-0 to the under when they travel. I'm going to lean toward the New Orleans Pelicans, minus 8, and the under to 12.5. Next game, it is going to be Pistons versus the Bucks, 8 p.m. East. Milwaukee's minus 13.5, totals 226 and a hook. The Bucks are on a two-game winning streak, 3-1 and one straight up in their last four. They've beaten the Pistons in their last 10 straight meetings. And they rank first in the NBA in scoring and shooting. Giannis Anatokounmpo is scoring over 26 points a game, 11 boards and 6 assists for the forward. Uh, Giannis is also averaging 2 steals a game as well. Really, if you think about it, you could just like play uh, my NBA pick video, like every one of them for the past year or two. And uh, with the Milwaukee games, every 
time I do a Milwaukee game, it sounds the same every single time. But anyway, Chris Middleton, he's scoring 21 points a night himself. Six boards and six assists for the 6-7 forward. The Bucks are also, uh, well, first in home defensive field goal percentage and rebounding. They're 3-0 straight up at the Pfizer Forum, and they score 130 points a night when they play there. Once again, sounds familiar, right? They're taking on a Detroit squad who lost their last two straight, and they find themselves just 1-6 straight up for the entire season. Hayes and Jackson are questionable for tonight's ballgame. Detroit's in the bottom three in offensive field goal percentage, bottom three in points allowed on the road. They're giving up nearly 122 points a night when they travel. And of course, when it comes to the total on this one, Detroit's actually 2-0 to the over in their last couple of games, 4-2 to the over in their last six. Meanwhile, the Bucks are 71% to the over for the season themselves. Hey, Bucks laying points in the over. It sounds familiar, right? Give me the Milwaukee Bucks minus 13.5 and, and the over 226 and a hook. Next contest, Raptors versus the Suns, nine, uh, what is that, 9 p.m. Eastern tip-off in the desert. The Suns are the three-and-a-half-point favorite at home, totals 217 and a hook. And if you like the Raptors away from home here, they're plus 140 on the money line. Now, Toronto's on a two-game losing streak, just one of five straight up to start the season. Unfortunately for Toronto backers, they've also gone just one of five against the spread in their six ball games on the season as well. They're in the bottom five in scoring, bottom three in offensive field goal percentage. Certainly uncharacteristic for this Toronto team who's been sound uh, over the past couple of seasons in all aspects of the game. Now, the Raps are also amongst the worst in the NBA in rebounding on both ends of the court as well. They're taking on a Suns team who won four out of their last five. and They're covering 71% of their ball games. The Suns are also allowing just 100 points a game and they rank in the top three in home defense of rebounding. Now, Devin Booker is scoring over 21 points a game, four rebounds and four assists for the shooting guard. Meanwhile, Mikhail Bridges is also scoring over 14 points a night along with six rebounds. Now, total-wise, Phoenix is 6-1 and one to the under through seven contests. Two out of Toronto's last three stayed under the line themselves, throwing out the Boston game, of course. I'm going to lean toward the Phoenix Suns, minus three and a half, and the under 217 and a hook. All right, next matchup, it is going to be Clippers versus the Warriors, 10 p.m. Eastern start time in the Bay. The Clippers are minus five, totals 235 flat. And if you like Golden State in an upset at home, they're plus 170 on the money line. Now, the Warriors are on a two-game winning streak, four months straight up in their last five. Golden State is scoring 124 points a game on their home court, and they're shooting 50% from the field in that same category. The Warriors are also drilling nearly 40% of their three-pointers at the Chase Center as well. That kind of sounds a little bit more characteristic of the uh, Golden State Warriors we know and love over the past five seasons. Now, Steph Curry scoring 32 points a game, five boards, and six assists a night for the All-Star. Meanwhile, Andrew Wiggins finds himself averaging 18 points a game along with five boards and a couple assists. Has it, I, I haven't mentioned Andrew Wiggins in a really long time on this uh YouTube channel. So anyway, uh, defensively, the Warriors are allowing just uh, 41% uh, field goal percentage on their home court. They're taking on a Clippers squad who dropped two out of their last three, failing to cover the number twice during that short span. Now the Clippers somehow are in the bottom three in offensive rebounding, and they rank in the bottom three in fourth quarter scoring. Paul George is questionable with an ankle. Uh, Kawhi's always questionable with the threat of load management, especially like 30 minutes before tip-off. Super annoying. But anyway, total-wise, LA's 2-0 to the over in their last couple of games. 3-0, uh, I'm sorry, 3-1 to the over when they travel. Meanwhile, Golden State is 4-2 to the over in their last six themselves. We're going to lean toward another underdog, guys. Give me the underdog Golden State Warriors plus five in the over 235. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Bulls versus the Kings 10 p.m. Eastern tip at the Golden One Center. The Sacramento Kings are the seven-point favorite. Totals 231 and a half. And if you like the Bulls in an upset on the road, they're plus 234 an outright victory. Chicago's on a two-game winning streak, four months straight up in their last five. The Bulls have also successfully covered the point spread in five out of their last six as well. They're in the top 10 in scoring, top 10 in offensive field goal percentage on the road. Zach Levine scoring 24 points a game, five rebounds, four assists 
for the shooting guard. Levine's also averaging a couple of steals a night defensively. Meanwhile, Kobe White scoring over 16 points a game himself. Five rebounds, five assists for the 6'5 point guard from UNC. The Bulls are also in the top 10 in road defensive rebounding. Now they're taking on a Sacramento squad who just lost their third straight ball game and went just one and four straight up in their last five. Now Sacramento is in the bottom three in defensive field goal percentage and they give up 117 points a game. Now total wise, two out of Sacramento's last three contests at the Golden 1 Center did stay under the number. They're also 70% to the under in their last 10 meetings with the Bulls. Meanwhile, speaking of the Bulls, Chicago saw three out of their four road games this season stay under the line themselves. We're going to finish off the uh, show here with yet another underdog covering the number. Give me the Chicago Bulls plus seven on the road in the under 231 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our quick pick recap. Once again, brought to you by Patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we are 6-1 and one with a push in our last eight underdog tier package picks. I like the Pacers minus 2 over 226. I'm also leaning toward the Sixers minus 6.5 under 231 and a hook. I like the Cleveland Cavaliers plus 6 under 212. I also like the Hawks minus 6 under 232. I'm leaning toward the Knicks plus 6 over 214.5. I also like the Celtics plus two and a half over 218. I like the Pelicans minus eight under 212 and a half. I also like the Milwaukee Bucks minus 13 and a half over 226 and a hook. I'm leaning toward the Suns minus three and a half under 217 and a hook. I also like the Golden State Warriors plus five over 235. And last but certainly not least, please give this video a thumbs up right now if you enjoyed it. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't done so already. I'm going to lean toward the Chicago Bulls plus seven on the road and the under 231 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into some shout outs. And from our YouTube platform, shout out to Chino0592. Also, I'm going to give a shout out to S. Fung, uh, Lenny Battaglia, uh, Gabrielle Jasmine. Hi, Gabby. Uh, shout out to Pavel Lalek. Aaron Richards, David Israel, Kurt Solak, Alan Reese, and last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my guy, Danny Ravel. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. If you guys decide to get a package here today, just keep in mind, we'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So your membership is good through the end of the month. And then if you enroll, We'll just auto bill you on the first of every month. But once again, uh, we bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. Uh, and also, once again, if you guys end up getting a package today, just keep in mind that all the lesser expensive memberships are included with your purchase. So if you end up buying the $4.99 package here today, all the cheaper memberships are included with your purchase. So you're going to get access to all those picks in the cheaper memberships as well. But anyway, guys... Got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Wednesday to you. Happy hump day to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.